Howdy, y'all. Hi, guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. From r &E Music. Favorite mom and pop guitar shop and lesson studio deep in the heart of Canton, Texas. Paul's favorite state Ooh. ever. Ooh. It's 2019. <laughs> He's back from Ohio. Hey, we made another year. Yay, we, made we it. survived. So excited. So glad you made it. <laughs> and it's time to answer all y'all's questions. Let's get to it. First question, Sinner's Dwarf just came in under the wire, last second question. You're so mm -hmm. lucky, I checked my phone. Yeah. He says, howdy, just finished watching a YouTube live stream that provided my question. Take a breath, could be a long one. The YouTuber recommended HP42 as a YouTuber to look at for obscure brands in the guitar scene. You didn't mention what live stream you were watching, Sinner's Dwarf. Mm. I bet it was Robert Baker. <laughs> uh, as I know, this YouTuber likes to keep their channel clean, no cussing. We call it swearing in the UK. Mm -hmm. I decided to comment a hinting trademark going for animals at the end instead of because junk. If you ever watched HP's Hennings videos, he, he likes to say, he's very risque. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of innuendos. I can imagine. Uh, yeah. Like I'm I got it. 40 year old dudes. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay, the YouTuber okay. mentioned my comment but didn't use my name. So finally the question, would you not stock certain brands if their name or logo could be deemed as offensive to potential customers? For example, my name could be could offend religious people with the first part of the name and the second part of my name some might find offensive as people wouldn't be aware of my respectful reason for choosing it. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year, y'all. So the question is, would we not stock certain brands if their name or logo could be deemed offensive to some potential customers? Hmm. Um, probably not. <laughs> I would probably not stock certain brands. There's only one I can think of that's like, okay, that's a little bit over the top. Yeah, I know it's one we had a conversation about that. I'm like, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, no, not selling that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah. Now, I will say that I, I have not put up promotional material like posters and flyers of a brand that had somewhat suggestive posters, yeah. you know, um, mainly of a lady and not, you know, it wasn't yeah. terrible, but it was like, it, it was, was enough. It was a little uh, over the top. Yeah. Because we have a lot of young ladies. And we have a lot of little boys. Yeah. And we have a lot, a lot of moms that come in. <laughs> and then so, there's me. And then there's, there's Paul. And there's Paul. Paul's not offended by anything, but Paul's not our clientele. Yes. He's I just a stuff. friend. Sometimes. <laughs> right, but you can buy stuff anyways, even if we yeah. don't even if we don't but have I don't think that we're like overly sensitive about certain things that we're like, even if it had like a name or one thing, like we have Devil Cat. Yeah, Devil Cat like, Amplifiers. Oh, it has the devil's name on it. You know, yeah, yeah. That's, no, it's not. You know, like with your name, Sinners Dwarf. Sinners Dwarf. You know, it, like we're all sinners. <laughs> Some more than others. Awkward, <laughs> awkward pause. He was just over there reading away. <laughs> he was like, As I got what? Better. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think that we are that ridiculously, you know, um, or at all. I don't think we are at all like so sensitive about brand names. Now if it's just like blatantly yeah, no, disgusting there are some... where it caused, you know, like profanity or vulgar terms of female or male genitalia in the name, then yeah. Yeah. That's just not polite in any circle. Yeah. Well would you sell Ernie Ball? <laughs> Ernie I was Ball. Gonna say, that's what I'm saying. It's like you're not going to be so sensitive. Yeah, if their strings weren't crap, I would probably sell them. This Ooh. is America. Everybody's offended. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's just a little silly, I think. Yeah. I think. No, I mean, there are some things that are like obvious. Like, if you guys can't see why people would find this offensive, I don't know. To, you know, some people no, are bad. There's no hope for you. <laughs> yeah. But. Yeah. You know. Thor offends me. Right. Well. This is Hammer. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Lord. So, so you started something, you see? You I mean, there's some stuff something. that's blatant, like blatantly over the top. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, we're not going to stock that. 
yeah. some things that are more ambiguous. Than, yeah, you'd you have know. to really be dirty minded to yeah. make it go that way. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Now, <coughs> I like to say, you know, I didn't know this, but our, our channel and our videos actually come up on YouTube Kids. Yes, it So is. we're kid friendly, which is great. Because mm -hmm. we have a lot of students who are like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 yeah. year olds. We like the fact that a parent, if the kids are like, I'm looking at, you know, Mr. Ryan and Ms. Angela's videos, and they can be like, okay, well, good. You know. It's okay. It's, we know, it's, it's yeah. fine. Wait, 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 hold on. Is the bitter basement in the video? Yeah, I was about wait. to say the same thing. Like, is that bass player guy there? Because we might need to Because it's not, you're going to have to skip can't to the watch, next skip one. that video. Skip it. Just skip it. <laughs> they like me. <laughs> Thanks for the question, Sinners Dwarf. I hope yeah. that answered it. So. There you go. Uh, next question. The Hank Rots Project. My question for the week. It's probably been answered, but why is he, Paul, the bitter bass man? He seems pretty cheery in your videos. <laughs> Well, Paul just happens to be here. We have actually answered this before. Because it's a facade. I thought about this one a little bit more. We actually... Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. We've answered this once, but I don't know which video it was. But we'll let Paul answer it. I know. Lean it. There you go. Okay. Lean. There you go. Look at the, look at the camera. Look at the, the camera. Yeah, I got the trouble screen. last time. Yeah. Yeah. Paul, why are you so bitter? Why am I so bitter? By Paul DiGiaro. <laughs> I should write a Sounds poem. Sounds like a vlog. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. The easiest way you to say it without getting into a lot of detail is we all go through horrible crap in our lives. Yeah, everybody does. Everybody does. Some have it worse than me. Some don't have it so, so bad. I've had it pretty rough. I have these two to... Uh, yeah. Verify that. We can corroborate that. Yes, because they, mm -hmm. they were probably the only ones who witness. stuck by my side throughout the entire time. <laughs> Everybody else was like, whoa, this is too deep. Too much. <laughs> too much. I, he's on his own. Uh, Mr. Daniels helped out a lot. Kept that clean. Yeah. Mm, I had to get over that hump. He still helps me out a little bit. <laughs> um, I, always I was like, me. Anthony Daniels? No. <laughs> C-3PO? Mr. Jack. Jack Daniels. Yes. Okay. I was um, like... I lost my train of thought. Sorry. Talk about my life. A lot of stuff's yeah. been... A lot of, had a lot of crap. A lot of crap. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of, of crap. And <laughs> I, uh, you say I'm cheery, but you got to think. Look at the Joker. Yeah. He's always cheery. He's always <laughs> laughing. And so doesn't, mean it, it doesn't really mean he's happy, but we got to smile something. That's why I... He's not an idol. He's a good figure because no matter how much crap you go through in life, you always have a smile on your face. That's <laughs> yeah. true. Because so, it could be worse. It could, it could be, be worse. worse. Trust me. Before the worst part of my life, I actually said that two weeks prior to, somebody said something and I was like, you know, I had a pretty rough life and I don't think it can get any worse. And then two weeks later, the worst thing that could happen, somebody happened. And I was just like, jeez. Yeah. And I, was yeah. Like, I, was, I even told him, if I ever say that again, just smack Never me. say that. Don't no. say that. It could always be worse. I think it's just because you play the bass. And you find the bass unfulfilling musically. Excuse me, I, I'm burping. But you love the bass. <laughs> Thank you for turning that way. Well, I'm drinking Big Red. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, it could always have been worse. Yeah. And it, the bass, playing the bass doesn't help. I mean, everyone's it like, you're not you a real musician. It just makes you sad. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. All the bass jokes. Well, it's such a low note. It's just like, it makes you It's like sorrowful. It brings you down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bass always brings you down. But um, but um, I thought I think I thought it was just because like you're really good at playing the bass, but not so great at other instruments yet. No, I'm learning. I picked up guitar like yet. maybe a year. But ago. it's like everything you want to do involves more than just the bass. Right. That's part of it. So bass isn't you know it doesn't fulfill and, you. And the really. name cynical bass player really didn't. Yeah, cynical bass player just doesn't doesn't flow as well as a bitter <laughs> bass player. What? Mildly <laughs> amused bass player. <laughs> Somewhat disappointed bass man. <laughs> so he, he, he's all right, bass player. So but you're a, a really great bass player. It's not that you're not an all right bass player. You're everybody's a great a bass player. Per, person. It's not that hard. Whatever. You're you really know, good. I don't like the fact you guys you have could not, as you could not pale do as I am. Bass. It's a Did lie. Say that. Huh? What'd you say? I said he could not do what you do on the bass. Oh, anybody can do what I do on the bass. 
as pale as I am, please don't put me by the light. I glanced at myself in the monitor and I was like, what the hell? It doesn't help that you're wearing a really, really white, white shirt. shirt too. <laughs> you're throwing off our white balance. I'm normally not this pale, I don't think. I might be. You know. They so. were like, we got it until that glowy blur stepped into the, started talking. Yeah, it was like It was reflective. that glowy blur. <laughs> that There's shiny There's a ghost in, talking your, about ghost in your video. I see dead people. Talking about being miserable and angry and just gleaming with brightness. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's bitter when he's not on camera. On camera, he's happy. And stupid people, yeah. Stupid Whatever. people really he's aggravate happy me. all the time. I've gotten better because they have kids, but used to, <laughs> we'd be somewhere, and somebody would say something, and my mouth would just go, blah, 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 because they're stupid. I even dated a couple of people. They they knew when I was going to go. I was at a McDonald's drive throughs and somebody just couldn't get my order right and kept asking. All of a sudden, I just went to go off on them, and they put their hand over my mouth, and I was just like... <laughs> And it's not because I'm an angry person. It's because people are so stupid. It's not that I'm angry. It's just that people are dumb. Yeah, they are. <laughs> and I'm angry that they're dumb. I'm I so know. angry that they're it dumb. It makes me bitter because I'm like, surely common sense isn't this rare. Look, I'm on a rant now. I know. I'm just going to sit back and you should, you should, start uh, checking my should emails here. <laughs> you should start a YouTube channel to get all your bitterness out. If I had time, you I probably would. Vent to the... What is that? Peter Griffin. Uh, <laughs> What you drives my like gears? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gears. You know what grinds my gears? Yeah. yeah. All right. Anyway. There, there you go. go. Without going into much detail and depression. Yeah. And of, I'm, Hank Rutz. I'm working on a book, maybe. So, you can read it. Yeah, you should write a book. Well, Angela's supposed to ghost write for me. again. Oh, that's right. Ghost I'm sorry. Man, big, big red. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet verse. <laughs> Oh, silent but deadly. Chocolate donuts. Silent but deadly. <laughs> Big red and chocolate donuts. So there you go. That's why Paul's bitter. There you go. As, as he giggles about his as burps. As he's laughing about it. <laughs> he's bitter on the inside. Yeah. Way down inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm waiting for the day to snap. Yeah. And when I do snap, I don't want anyone, oh, I've known him for years. I, I, I never thought this would happen. I want my friends who really know me go, Man, mm. I, I'm really surprised it took this long. Yeah, he, he made it way longer than we yeah. thought. Yeah, he's going to be like 85. <laughs> he's going to be Throwing people in a nursing home with this game. I've had enough finally. <laughs> the old man picked up the Those are pillows, today. Mr. Dejaro. Those are the pillows. <laughs> Leave the pillows alone. These daggum pillows. And it's going to be over something stupid, too. Yeah. I know it. Probably. And for the person who made the comment about me not looking at the camera, this is what it's like talking to me. <laughs> I do not make eye contact. I, I don't try, know what it is with me. To look when I talk, I look everywhere. I'm looking them. When I look at the people in their eyes, they freak out for some reason. So I've developed a habit of. They can't handle the bitterness. I literally go like this. Even when I'm at work staff meetings, I'm literally looking around. It's really doing you a favor by yes. not looking at the camera. Peer into your soul. <laughs> well, you might turn what, to stone. What's the uh, <laughs> Ghost Riders vent, Death Vengeance Stare or something? Um, I don't know. Um, Ghost Riders. Name. That's too nerdy for me. Except for the Avengers. Uh, Agents of Shield Ghost Rider. He was cool. Oh yeah, he was. Well, pretty he still awesome. had the same power. Yeah. He was pretty awesome. He was not Nicolas Cage, though. So you know. I, Okay, I'm one of the few who kind of likes Nicolas Cage still. I, I mean, I did. I had a crush on him. Later. Well, I didn't mean that way. <laughs> didn't you know? I know what it means that I say, hey, he's attractive. <laughs> he's no Aquaman. I'll tell you no, what. no. Aquaman, better than Thor. Okay. It's the end of this question. <laughs> and you're done. <laughs> Go away. Go away. Uh, next question. Uh, six in line. Help me, Ryan Kenobi. Completed modding my telly. Charvel. Everything is great, except swapping out the J stock JB for slash pickup was a mistake. I was hoping it'd be a little darker. I read slash spec'd it to brighten up the dark sounding. Les Paul. Oh, dear. Any recommendations will be appreciated. P bridge, passive, any brand. Two conductors is fine. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, my kind of go-to for a passive bridge pickup, I like the Seymour Duncan Custom Custom. It's so custom, you say it twice. Custom Custom. Mm -hmm. I like the Custom Custom. If you want to stick with Seymour Duncan's, um, I like that one. 
that's kind of the one I like the most, I guess, out of mm -hmm. passives. Although EMG does make passive pickups. There are passive EMGs you could go with, but yeah. more people are going to be familiar with the, the custom custom for Seymour Duncan. Mm -hmm. So that's my suggestion. Suggestione. Sha sha. Sha sha. Six in line. <laughs> Help me, Ryan Kenobi. Mm -hmm. You're my only hope. Hello there. <laughs> Uh, next question, Walking Dead 1369. I think we all know that you are pretty much a humbucker guy, Ryan, but if you were going to pick a single coil guitar, which do you think you would prefer? Um, that is a great question, Walking Dead 1369. Um, I have owned a Tele before, briefly, for a while. Very briefly. Actually, I've owned two. Mm -hmm. I had a... Uh, Nashville Deluxe Fender Telly, which was pretty cool, actually. Kind of wish I still had it. <laughs> I had a Chapman ML3, mm -hmm. uh, single coil. Um, I would probably go with a Telly style guitar. I mean, I've played on some Strats and stuff. I'm just not really loving the Strats. Hold on. It is. Uh, <laughs> actually, the Vola... Vasti. It's the Vasti, not the Oz. The Miss, Oz is the strap. Miss Vasti, if you... <laughs> <laughs> Miss Vasti, if you know me. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Jackson, if you're Vasti. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, it's got a single in it with a little uh, push-pull thing where it does that. Uh, 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 make uh, you want to... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> right? Actually, I really like this. <laughs> I kind of... I don't own a Vola, let alone many Volas that would necessitate an entire rack. But uh, were I going to purchase a Vola for myself, mm -hmm. it would be this one. Maybe not this color. They have one that's really nice, kind of powder blue looking thing. I like this guitar. I like it. I don't know. I think because I it's like not... Burst. I think so. because it's not just a, um, a Tele clone. It actually has a little bit of its own shape thing going on. Mm -hmm. I like this. Cool. So, it would probably be this or or the CMG Guitars Mark, which is a T-style. Anthony. Mark Anthony. <laughs> Acvangelio. <laughs> Flipside Music, Denver, Colorado. Um, the CMG Mark, because it's the mm -hmm. scale length that I'm comfortable with. It's 24 and 3 quarter scale length, which you don't normally find a 24 and 3 quarter T style. This is 25 five. So actually either the Vola, actually I really like the Vola, um, or a CMG Mark. So mm -hmm. that's what I would choose. Walking Dead 1369. Thanks for the question and giving me a reason to have a guitar cool. in the video. Oh Lord. Sorry. <laughs> I had to put a little dark color on the look, I don't look as pale. <laughs> you look more Wolverine-y now. I need some chops. Wolverine. <laughs> okay, I put up the Vola and it's time for the final question from Just Fun Guitar. I only have fun when I play guitar. Haha, -ha, yeah, my question was kinda ambiguous, but I think you ans your answers were fun. New questions. One, did you ever read the Inhumanoids comic? As kids. Two, do you prefer good guys or bad guys in the fictions? I like the villains best every time. They are more fun. Three, who is your favorite UK artist? Hashtag KTMA. Big Red. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for the question, Just Fun Guitar. Super nerdy, so we brought Paul back in. He's <laughs> an ultra mega nerd. Um, I think I maybe had one issue of Inhumanoids. I did not read the comic, but I did watch the cartoon, and I did have a couple of the figures. Action figures. Action figures. Back then, they were action figures. Today, they are They're figure collectibles. skaters. Collectible dolls. They're not dolls. Collectibles. <laughs> dolls for manly men dolls. Manly, manly men with... You have a Thor doll. That was... A collectible. It was an accident. It's... I, I accidentally bought this Thor. It was, it, it was when it first came out. How much, how much was it? $200. Uh, <laughs> $200. <laughs> I 
I think all of my Thor stuff is. That was the first video I ever made was with that Thor thing. I was like, something about bass players too. Remember I sent it to you? I didn't. Oh yeah, Yeah. (laughs) that was was funny. Um, I don't. Maybe I had one issue. I don't remember. That wasn't really in my stable of comics. No, I preferred the Centurions over any humanoids. Hmm. You had more stuff to be able. Those were cool. Attached to them. Okay. But Spiral Zone was better than all of them. Yeah. It's no Robotech. I didn't like Robotech. Same level as Thor. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Why did he even come back? (laughs) (laughs) Just hurt my feelings. Um, Why do you say these things? Why do you say these things to me when you know I will kill you? Still here. What's that from? I will kill you. No. Why do you say these things to me when I, you know, I will kill you? No. I see. You say that. I think of Princess Bride one. I would not say such things. I would not say such things if I were you. Not say such things to you. Ah, well. Why I say it like that? I just flutter. I hit to the Japanese. I would not say such things. Um, do you prefer good guys or bad guys in the fictions, Angela? Ooh, depends. There's a lot of really good bad guys, though. Um, I balance a, of both. I, I have think a split I like, answer on this one. I think I have a in every single cartoon, comic, superhero. I like one of each in almost every single one. I think, except for Wonder Woman. I don't know who her nemesis. Her nemesis. Sheeta. She's Sheeta? in the next one. Aries. Does you know? Does Wonder Woman really have a nemesis? Yes. I mean, Sheeta. Yeah. Does she even come close to? Not really. Yeah. She's not. She's not equal. Not like, that any of like them are really. It's like does really have an embassy? No. But yeah, I think that you, there's always that bad guy that you always like. I remember as a kid, the, who's the guy who was the voice of like every bad guy? It was like I don't know. Paul would know. Cobra and Starscream. Starscream and yeah, that. Who's <laughs> the voice actor? For, <laughs> I don't remember. But it was like, I always liked to hear when every time I would hear a cartoon, I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy, you know? And it, I thought that that was cool. But I don't know. I think that there's always good to balance out both. You have a really favorite good guy who's a good um, protagonist and the an antagonist that kind of sets him off that you know that you need him to make your good guy. Who is Snake Eyes voice actor? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> me. Huh? It was Whenever me. Whenever I would play the game in my room. <laughs> <laughs> I would think I would think his thoughts. I could hear what he was thinking. What if he had a really high pitched voice? He'd still be awesome. I think he had, I think he probably had like an accent. I would think he would have an accent. But he's American. Like a surfer dude accent. You know, but like a like a you know, really. You're totally out to kick your butt. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. But he, that's why you like Star Wars. <clears throat> Paul. I mean, a lot of. Do you prefer good guys or bad guys? Uh, as a younger kid, I preferred, or I liked the idea of being a good guy, but the older I got, I related more to the bad guys. Yeah. Plus, you don't see very cool looking good guys. I mean, I'll use Star Wars reference. You take Obi Wan, and then you have Darth Maul. Who looks cooler? Yeah. Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker. Yeah. And everybody better than Kylo Ren. <laughs> That's the thing that Nicholas likes about Kylo Ren <laughs> is the way he looks. His costume yes. and his like he doesn't really like him. It's as not a even person. a scary costume. Yeah, it was really bad because he liked the costume first before he watched the movie. <laughs> and we showed up to watch the movie. And of course our child is like he was like six five at the time. He's like 6'5", in this Kylo Ren, full face, hooded, gloves, everything, boots, everything. Still wasn't scared. And... At the premiere. At, yeah, at the premiere. Oh, that's of, all. That wasn't... And so we went, like, the first day, like, opening day of the movie, and we're sitting there, and then it happens... And Nicholas just starts slowly sliding down to the seat oh. like, oh my God, I'm dressed like him. Oh dear God. You know, and he walks out like, 
please don't throw anything at me. You know? I'm so <laughs> sorry. I was, so, I was actually nervous for him. Like, oh, you picked the wrong bad guy to dress like. Yeah. <laughs> like the wrong. It's not like you were dressed like Darth Vader. Where it doesn't cool. matter bad how bad he was, he was still awesome. Yeah. He was still cool. Like the, the worse he was, the even you know more amazing he was. So, uh, but was Kylo so Ren was just like a a brat, you know. But throwing a temper tantrum, so it was a little embarrassing. But I thought that was funny because mm. <laughs> I was sitting next to him. He was just kind of like, "Oh, oh god!" <laughs> like, yeah, you might want to not wear the mask on the way up. Yeah, you might want to take that mask off. Done. Yeah, I've, I'm definitely going to say bad guys as I'm older. Yeah, well, you have a huge Joker collection. I say we relate, and some Darth Vaders. Oh, a Darth Vader, and you had a Darth Vader. Costume. I did have a costume. Costume. And then I have. I all wish we had the, the clip because that'd be funny. Michael Myers, Freddy, Jason, Leatherface. I have a nice little collection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pinhead. Well, Pinhead. I have to say, I prefer the good guys because I am a good person. Mm -hmm. You know what? Bad guys yes. could be good at heart. You just. I always prefer the, the good, good guys. The good guys are bad guys in the bad guys' perspective. I, I, my brain's not working. <laughs> so, but the good guys, yeah, yeah, the bad yeah, guys' yeah, perspective, yeah, the, bad, the yeah. good guys are the bad guys that in the bad correct. guys' perspective. That is correct. So it's all about the perspective. perspective. If you were raised in the perspective of the bad guys, the bad good guys are the bad guys. Now, I do kind of like the naughty good guys, like Punisher. That just sounds weird. <laughs> like the naughty good guy. <laughs> uh, Deadpool, right? You know, he's not really a good guy. He's sort of an anti-hero, but... Yeah, well, I like the, the, the police are after the bad guy, good guy because he's doing things outside yeah. the law. But yeah, he's doing good. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like not not so much comic book Punisher, but like uh, Blade. Well, some of the comic, yeah, book well, Blade. Punisher. Like I like Blade because sometimes you know you can't be like Batman all the time, and who would want to be, be like merciful. Batman? Let men live. You know, sometimes you. bad guys just need killing. You want to be know. like Batman? No. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you just need to kill them. Like, imagine if Batman would have just killed the Joker. Like, he yeah, could have saved... Superman killed the Joker, but not Batman. Yeah. Batman is... You know, you'd solve so many problems if you just killed the bad guys. So I kind of I kind of agree with Punisher on that one. That's why I like The Incredibles, because they broke the, the fourth wall when it came to, like, all the things that you hated about superheroes. You know, like the capes, like... No capes. No capes. Getting, <laughs> and these like monologues. You're like, oh, you dog, you caught me monologuing. Because, <laughs> you know, they're like, why monologue? Why you have this are great you monologue and you could have, you get away. But, yeah, I think there's a balance. Because I liked Syndrome. And even in The Incredibles, <laughs> as much as I like Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl. I liked the Fox Lady. I liked Scar's <laughs> song on Lion King, even though Mufasa was <clears throat> awesome. Yeah. Somebody said the other Maleficent. day. Maleficent. Uh, Scar, he either was named ahead of his time or it was just happenstance that he got a scar growing up. Yeah. <laughs> it's good writing. Is it it was his nickname since child, <laughs> yeah. childhood. I kind of prefer the good guys. Although Storm Shadow was awesome. Can you imagine Storm like Shadow's Can you imagine like Mufasa oh. probably gave Scar his scar and then he kept on calling him Scar to remind him of what happened when they were kids and the only reason why he has animosity towards Mufasa is because of the scar that he gave him. And then I, then but he probably changes, had it coming. Wait, no, that changes the whole perspective then because I would see that from Scar's side and go, "Hey, Mufasa was a bad guy." Mufasa wasn't very nice. Was well, he? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and third and final Ooh. question, just fun guitar. Who is your favorite UK artist? Hmm. Ooh. Elton John. Elton John. What's um, her name? Adele. Mm -hmm. No, not not necessarily. Not my favorite. Um, she's great, but oh gosh, I was trying to think way back. Like, go where back. are the police from? They're from England, aren't they? I'd have to say, mine's the police. Are or, they? I don't are know. Are they British? Are they? I is the whole Steve band was. British? Though. I don't even. Maybe know. not. Well, the, the Sex Pistols. I can't think of a lot you of You can't say that on RNA music. It's the name of the band. Okay. I gotta look up UK artists. Now. I find that offensive. I'm Googling <laughs> it. Uh, of course you are. I'm gonna go with Led Zeppelin. Oh. Because it's freaking Led Zeppelin. Because yeah. why wouldn't you? Followed closely by Black Sabbath. Yeah. Uh, it's really almost a tie. Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath. But who, else, who else is or, a, who else is a Brit that we that we Who is? sings Wonderwall? I don't know. 
Oasis. Uh, yours is the Spice Girls. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> hey, baby Spice. <laughs> was that Jerry? Is her name Jerry? No, no, Jerry was the... The redhead. Redhead. Okay. Ginger. Ginger. Mm-hmm. Ginger Spice. Well, she was actually the only one named after her Spice, though. Ginger Spice and posh Sports, spice. Posh, Gary. Sporty Spice. It's Sporty. <laughs> Old Spice. That's why they kicked her out of it. That's why she left the group. She goes, this isn't the same type of spice I was thinking. I was thinking thyme or garlic. Or <laughs> garlic. <laughs> garlic Spice. Um, yeah, so what, I'm, I'm going to go, go Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath. I guess I'm right. That's got to be Def Leppard. top two for me. Beatles. Beatles. Uh, overrated. Overrated. Yeah. They're good what they did. They Appreciate were amazing it, back in the day. Back in the day. I guess. Yeah. There are no Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd. I'm trying to think of like Pink Floyd. recent. The Who? Queen. Queen. Oh, I don't know. Oh, now I don't know. Eric Clapton. The King. I like yeah. the Kinks. Eric Clapton. Yeah. Black Sabbath. <clears throat> did you say Black Sabbath? I did say Black Sabbath. The Police. The Yardbirds. The Clash. I like the Clash. Genesis. Yes. Genesis. Oh, yeah. John yeah. Lennon, Jethro Tull. Jimmy Hendrix. Jethro Tull. Yeah, he was British. Was he? Wasn't he? I don't know. Mm. I didn't think he mm. was. Inquiring minds wouldn't know. I thought he got really big in Britain. Yeah. Oh. Oasis, Elton John, Dire Straits, Sex Pistols. Oasis Pistol. is, uh, what's his face? I did The Smiths. I like the Smiths, Phil too. Collins. Iron Maiden. Isn't that right? Phil yeah. Collins was an Oasis. Radio Phil no, Oasis is a... Genesis. 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 It was Genesis. Uh, Simple Minds. Exodus. Wings, <laughs> New Order, Radiohead, Coldplay. Leviticus. No, Coldplay is worse than it came out of there. Yeah. Def Leppard. Judas Priest. Ozzy Osbourne. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Elvis it's, Costello. It's bad that we're sad. I said bad. It's well, they're a lot more than I thought. Motorhead. The Motorhead. Pesh Motorhead. <laughs> King Crimson? The Rolling Stones. Oh, Rod yeah. Stewart. I didn't know he was British. Super yeah. Tramp. That's a good one. Yeah. Peter, Peter Gabriel. Gabriel. Mm-hmm. I like Sting. Your Van Morrison. I didn't know that one either. Eyes. I like one song by the Trogs. The Dave Clark Five. White Snake. Slade. I like Slade. 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 Not the hop. Emil well, Sande. <clears throat> Emil, Emil, anyway, Emil, Emil, Emily Sande. I like her. The Pretenders. Who's your favorite? You gotta pick one. Duran Duran. <laughs> Tom Jones. Phil Collins. Phil Collins. Favorite. Mm-hmm. Not over Sting. Oh no, Sting. Over Ding Dong. All day. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did you just say? <laughs> Whatever you just said didn't sound right in my ear. I was just like. <laughs> she said Sting. Sting all day, every day. Yeah. I heard Sting. Sting a Ding Dong. Did you remember? Sting. 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 Oh, I, yeah. I, but there's so many. Once I started looking at the list, I'm like, ooh, they're good. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I forgot oh, that they were British. Yeah. Got to make a decision, man. Well, is he from the UK? Yep. And it's like so. all around Who's the UK. your favorite American It's not band. just, mm-hmm. you know, because the United Kingdom is like there a are lot, lot of countries. There are a lot of artists from England Shire that yeah. are really pretty good. England. We are they. They are we. Mm-hmm. We are there. It's a Christian band. Oh. No, I was they're from Scotland. Scotland. I think they're Scottish. Yeah. What's Inya's? What is she? Scottish? Who? Ireland? Inya? Yeah. I thought she was like Dutch. Same area? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm sure someone in the UK. Cut is, that out. So we don't is, sound ignorant. Someone in the UK is like, no, she's not. No, she's not. It's not the same. Dear God in heaven. Yeah. It's a lot of good rock and roll from England. Billy Boyd. <laughs> we invented it in America. Yeah, Ed Sheeran. And uh, they really refined it in England. Say Ed Sheeran. Mm-hmm. Is he from England? Mm-hmm. He's British. British? You know who else is British? Emma Watson. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like a little That's kid. creepy. <laughs> Who's Emma Watson? 
Hermione. Oh, hey. She's, she's like old. 30 years younger than Little you. Little schoolgirls there. <laughs> that's the worst thing my dad said. I was watching football with my dad. Because <laughs> you see, we were watching college football. Because you no, see those like cheerleaders? Or 30. I was like, yeah. He goes, they're 20 years younger than you. <laughs> I was like, God, yeah. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. I was like, you're 40 years older. And when you were like, in college, gosh. they weren't even born yet. I know. <laughs> and wow. that's the final question. <laughs> uh, keep rolling. I got to get you. Yeah, I got something. Uh-oh. <coughs> so... That's it for this week's episode of Ask RNA, the That's first right. one of 2019. So excited. And uh, thank yeah. you guys for the questions. And, so much. Uh, I think we drug this out pretty long. Yeah, we'll edit with, a lot with, of that out because it I needs probably to be won't. edited. Oh, it needs I to probably be won't. It really does. <laughs> I th- yeah. It's just more work for me. <laughs> I'm working too hard. I've learned I'm working too hard on all these videos. So it's okay. I'm just going to... Mm. Edit less. We'll be real, real. It's okay. Y'all can make less. fun of us. We know you will. Yeah. So, if, edit, you have, if you have a question <laughs> for next week, please leave Hi. it below. Thank you so much for all the questions and yes. the comments. And uh, I do read them if I don't always get a chance to answer them. You get to be here for this. Oh, are we going to Merry Christmas. This? That's hers. Oh, oh it's mine. Some of yours. Is it a Thor? Oh, my God. Does it feel like a Thor? I don't know. We're going to open Christmas presents from the Bitter Basin. In January. In January. In January. January. Somewhere. I'm opening up my first. <gasps> is it Jack Daniels? Nice. In his. What? <laughs> Yay. What is that, wine? That wasn't the manga, but okay. it? Is, it? is that good wine? I don't know. I don't drink white wine. Oh. Ooh. What is it? What it is. Four made something. Cherries? Is it protein powder? <laughs> no, it's like... It's like a protein no. What is it? I'm gonna bet. The most delectable oh, gourmet experience. <gasps> oh, it's the licorice wheels. Yay, thanks. Yay, they're my favorite. Licorice wheels. I don't know why I squeezed them. If they're a little stale, let me know. I'll send them back. I was like, that doesn't feel like. We're like, oh, oh, they smell good. Oh. Oh. Yeah. These are the best L- licorice. I'm like addicted to them. Ever. Those are pretty good. Yes, they yeah. are. Thank you, Paul. Welcome. Thank you. My turn? Yeah. Perfect Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh. They're, they're cold, so. <laughs> I think it's sweet Thor Mother booze. Mary. They're slippers. <laughs> Thor slippers. <laughs> to complete the ensemble. You know, with Thor this robe, robe. I got it. <laughs> I have a Thor robe. Thank you. No, they're great. Right. They're just cold. You, you should share one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you should give one. Mine. My precious. And they should be the right size because I texted your wife, hey, what size shoes he wear? <laughs> yeah. Ginormous. Ginormous. Is the right answer. It was like 11 through 13. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'll work. Happy feet. It says happy feet. How cute. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Very nice, thank you. I will be wearing okay. this. To go with my, did you see my mm-hmm. Thor hammer axe that I got from Angela? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's hanging up in the listener. And he has a robe that looks like Thor too. I have a Thor robe, Thor slippers. I'm going to wear these tonight. Uh-huh. So when he makes fun of my Joker stuff, I'm like, I'm not the one that has a whole Thor <laughs> Outfit oh. that I bought you. That I, bought. <laughs> I didn't buy it. I just have all the hammers. Well, thank you. We gave oh. Paul his presents before he went to Ohio. Yeah. Uh, Enterprise. Too. Did you build oh. it? No, I was spending time with my family. I didn't build that hammer either, so yeah. it's okay. I don't even know where mine is. It's sitting on your. It's on my desk. Yes. <laughs> all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Ask RNA. We will see y'all next time. Until then, keep the music alive. Don't forget it. Music needs you. You need the music. And we need to keep it alive for <gasps> Paul. <laughs> it helps him stay less bitter than he could be. And finish that album. Yeah. Hashtag, how's your album coming? <laughs> this is the year. 2019. 019 is the year <laughs> of at least a single. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we may start with a single. This is going to be so bad for me. I want some. I'm there with you. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> It's so good, but it's cold. It needs to be warm. I'm over here like, (laughs) We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, wait. Did you do the little? Mm -hmm. All right. My bad. You missed it. (laughs) Sorry.
worthy. <laughs> I am worthy. Your feet are worthy. That's awesome. Mm. I didn't even know those were a thing. Me neither. 